G'day science fans and welcome back to another episode of SciTech at Home. My name is Mita and today I'm going to be making some elephant's toothpaste. What's that you say? This isn't a dental hygiene program for large mammals. You're right, it's not. Elephant's toothpaste is actually just a fun name that we give for a reaction involving the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide in the presence of dish soap. Hmm, that was a lot of words. Let's break that down a bit and talk about what I really mean. And this is what the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide looks like. H2O2 and it breaks down to water, H2O, and oxygen. What does this reaction look like in real life? Let's find out. Now, even though hydrogen peroxide hangs around in our supermarkets and in our chemists at high concentrations, that means when there's a lot of it in a solution, it can actually be quite toxic to human skin and it can cause some burns. So I'm gonna use some protective equipment, safety glasses, and gloves. So, in my cylinders, I've got two solutions of hydrogen peroxide, one of them 6%, quite weak, one of them 35%, quite strong. And because I like to make things pretty, I'm gonna add a little bit of food coloring. Blue, for the weak stuff, and red for the strong stuff. First of all, I'm gonna add some regular dish soap. And the reason I'm adding this is because this reaction is forming a gas, which is oxygen. Now, what happens when you put gas, water, and dish soap together? You get bubbles. Now, in these two test tubes, I've got something called potassium iodide. This is something that we call a catalyst. Now, a catalyst is a very special thing in chemistry that makes a reaction go faster. It doesn't actually react with anything in the mixture itself. It makes it easier for the reaction to occur. Now, what do you think will happen when I put my catalyst or my reaction speeder upper in my weak solution of hydrogen peroxide? Make your predictions and let's try it out. Inside this graduated cylinder now, we have a sped up decomposition reaction. And the gas is mixing with the detergent in the presence of water and creating bubbles. And you can see that those bubbles are rising much, much quicker now that we've got the catalyst in there. Do you think it's gonna get to the top? I think it might. But over here on the left, we have a stronger solution. And I think we can have a bit of a race. What do you think is gonna happen when I add the catalyst to our stronger solution? Do you think it's gonna go faster? Should we try it out? In three, two, one. Now that strong concentration meant that there was so much more hydrogen peroxide in that solution. And so what we've had here is a much bigger reaction and that's why it's called elephant's toothpaste. So let's talk about how you can do this at home. Now, here I've got an old container of dishwashing liquid, which had almost run out. There was just a little bit of the dish soap in there. If there isn't any dish soap, you can just add some more. And I've also got some of the weak concentration of hydrogen peroxide. So I use the 6%, but you could try this with the stuff that you get from your supermarket or from your chemist. It's probably gonna be around 3%. And instead of using potassium iodide as a catalyst, I brought along some of my friends. Inside this beaker, I have some yeast. Now yeast, you can just buy at the supermarket. Yeast is actually a, a living organism. And that's what makes it a great catalyst for this reaction. So most living organisms inside their tissue is something called catalase, which will help catalyze the reaction in the same way that the potassium iodide did. So to do this reaction, I'm gonna take the lid off my container, but I'm gonna leave it there because we're gonna put that on again in a moment. And I'm just gonna wake our yeast up with a little bit of warm water from the tap. Let's give that a bit of a stir. Make sure that all of that yeast is going to make it into our vessel. Now, you've already seen this reaction done before, so make your predictions. What do you think is going to happen when I add the yeast into the container of hydrogen peroxide and dishwashing detergent? Have you made your prediction? All right, let's try it out. I'm gonna use a funnel this time to keep the mess down just a little bit. 
and we're going to add this in five, four, three, two, one. All right, you can see those bubbles are rising. Am I going to get the lid on on time? Probably not. Blow the lid right off. Whoa. And what you have here is a super fast elephant's toothpaste reaction done with stuff that you've got around the house. So thanks for playing along. See you next time.